Hello. Armory House has been getting lots of questions from potential residents about what it's like to live in this dorm. And so we thought we'd make a short video to address some of those questions. So my name is Isaac Howenstein. I am a junior in civil engineering at uh, University of Illinois. And I'm originally from Chicago and I went to Northside uh, and graduated in 2012, so. And hi guys, my name is Jay and I'm an international student from China. Um, I've been in the States for a couple of years and I went to high school in Pennsylvania for like um, a couple of years. Um, and since my, I'm freshman, it's my second semester here at Armory House. Might as well. Cool, so I said, um, why did you choose like Armory House in the first place? Yeah, so I studied Chinese um, throughout high school and I've continued to study it at University of Illinois. Um, in between that time period though, I uh, took a gap year and lived in China. So um, I've, for a long time, I've been really intensely f interested in, in learning Chinese and, and learning about the culture of China. So uh, when I came back from an incredible year abroad, I wanted to find um, some more authentic Chinese language environment because I feel that um, to this day, um, I learned the most uh, when I was actually in China in an authentic um, Chinese language environment. So I really wanted to find a, a place on campus that would give me the kind of language experience that you can't get inside of a normal classroom. And so that's why I decided to live in Armory House because um, it's approximately 50% Chinese and 50% um, domestic or English speaking, native English speaking. So. Uh, that was a big thing for me. Um, so, so Jay, what about you? Why, why did you choose Armory House? Um, for me, um, yeah, I still remember like I was choosing like the dorms like last year at this time, same as you guys. Um, I was debating between like a few other like private sort of housings. Um, and a few things like come up in my mind. Like I want to like, um, I want to get involved in American campus. But meanwhile, I was a bit scared to live in an all-American dorm. That's like a very strange, like very new to me. So then I found out, I found out like Armory House. It, it seems to have like really good balance. And like Isaac said, we do have like a um, good portion of Chinese population and like domestic American like population. And so and we, we are like a small community here. So I, I, I was thinking like the atmosphere would be like uh, more welcoming, I'd say. So that's like the for the reason I why I finally choose like Armory House in my dorm, and it turned out to be like what I thought too. So Isaac, um, how has been the experience here for you so far? Yeah, so it has been really interesting. Um, I think um, I have been finding like myself speaking Chinese over the dinner table and and going to. Um, the, uh, the New Year's dinner with, with you and Mingzi oh. and with Qingyong was actually really, really cool. Nian Yue Fan. New Year's Eve dinner. Nian Yue Fan. Cool. And so that's been an incredible experience. Um, I, I think, you know, the opportunities that are here are, are wide open. Um, but I think also it's the fact that it's not like, it, it, it as a resident of Armory House, like, you really have to take it onto yourself to, to reach out, you know, beyond your own cultural bubble. And um, that's not always easy, even for me still, like having like lived in China for a year. Um, there's still things that, I, there's still misunderstandings and stuff. So it's been a learning process, you know, and, and it still is. Um, and it, that's just been incredible. So mm. I think it's really good. Nice. What about you? Well, for me, um, it's been like, it's been similar but very different from like what I expected like in the first place. Um, Army House, it, it's really one of the special ones dorm right here. Like there are so many things like you just don't get like in many other dorms. Like well, we have like and we've been having like cultural events, you know, we have like the mid autumn festival celebration. We did the um, calligraphy. Uh, the, the learn, teaching American writing like the Chinese writing and um we've been having like the, the new year's like the, like the chinese armory like kitchen have been cooking like special dinners for us um 
and even the last time the spring festival like the lunar new year one that's like pretty cool too yeah so um yeah we, we, and we've been having like some a lot special events which make me feel very included and also like we have uh, we have like american like related event too like the thanksgiving uh what's it called super bowl, Sp super bowl. Yeah. yeah what's, what's <laughs> a spooky one called like halloween halloween <laughs> <laughs> Halloween, yeah, those are all fun too. It's some stuff like I haven't been exposed to. Uh, I found them to like very interesting one. Yeah. Um. What about the the language partner and the conversation tables that we have? Ah, those those is that's another big thing. Like we we've had like I think, um, like because we understand a lot of times it's difficult to, you know, to even to find someone to really have a conversation like in in your second language. So uh, we we have like the language partner program here which we pair you up with um with like you, if you're american student we pair you up with chinese if you're chinese students we pair you up with, with american students and we have like um weekly meeting and we have some topics and um fun events and and we just chill together like really special i'd say yeah. but again like i think like as i said it's still in, in the end it's up to you like it's, it's very important to like reach out to take initiative um i mean it's always hard to, to like stand up like your comfort zone but um that's that, that's it takes some time takes some effort but it's worth it when it comes to that yeah i i think jay's right that um it really is up to the individual to take advantage of the opportunities that are present at armory house and speaking for americans and cps kids you know shout out to chicago um it's this is a, a great next step for, for um, building on your Chinese language skills, especially if you want to use it in a career. And um, yeah, the opportunity is there. You just have to take it. So I hope um, this small video kind of answer like some of your inquiries or questions you have. Um, hope we've been helpful to you guys and hope to see you guys next year in Armory House.